hello you're welcome how to solve for hex in this nice math problem involving square root from what is given here we have root x minus root x minus 2 equals to 1 and from here we can square both sides directly here so the square on this side and also we take the square on this side then when we follow when we have a minus b all squared which can be written as a square plus b square minus 2ab then here yeah, this give us root x squared then plus root x minus 2 squared then minus 2 times root x then times root x minus 2 then equals to 1 squared there is still 1 and here square cancel square roots also square cancel square roots and we have x plus x minus 2 left then minus 2 here we can bring this together into the same root as x into bracket x minus 2 then which is equals to 1 this here follows from when we have root a times root b which we can write as root a times b together and here we have x plus x that's 2x then minus 2 minus 2 times square root of here this bracket when we expand this we have x square minus 2x then equals to 1 on this side and also we can take everything here from what we have we separate 2x and minus 2 to the other side and we are left with minus 2 times square root of x square minus 2x here which is equals to we have 1 here then minus 2 come we have plus 2 now then plus 2x comes we have minus 2x now and here this give us minus 2 times square root of x square minus 2x will now be equals to 1 plus 2 here we have 3 then minus 2x and also here let's take the square on both sides again so we have minus 2 times square root of x square minus 2x squared and equals to 3 minus 2x also squared from here and this square affects minus 2 so we have minus 2 squared then we affect square root of x square minus 2x also squared which is equals to here this give us 3 square plus 2x squared then minus 2 times 3 times 2x and here when we simplify minus 2 square that's t plus 4 then this cancel out we have x square minus 2x left then equals to 3 square that give us 3 times 3 that's 9 then plus here yeah, square affect 2 that's 4 then affect x x square then we have 2 times 3 that's 6 times 2 that's 12 so minus 12 x here then when we solve further from here we use 4 to open this bracket and we have 4 x square minus 8 x now equals to here we have 9 plus 4 x square minus 12 x 
and when we look at this on both sides we have four f square four f square so subtracting four f square on both sides this we cancel out then we are left with minus eight x equals to nine minus twelve x then collecting x on one side we have minus eight x the minus 12x comes here, become plus 12x, then equals to 9 left here. And minus 8x plus 12x, here we have 4x equals to 9. So when we divide both sides by 4, from here, 4 we cancel each other here. Then we have x equals to 9 over 4. Here we have the solution to the given problem as x equals to 9 over 4. And here we can check to see if it will satisfy the given problem. From what we have, let's substitute x equals to 9 over 4. So when x equals to 9 over 4, then what we have here becomes square root of 9 over 4 minus square root of 9 over 4 minus 2. Will it be equals to 1? And here, this same thing as writing this as root 9 over root 4. We can separate this, then minus here. We can bring this SM together. We can bring this fraction together. SM is 4. Then we have 4 in 4, that's 1. 1 times 9, that's 9. Then minus also. 1 in 4, that's 4. 4 times 2, that's 8. Will it be equals to 1 here? Then what we have here, which is 9, root 9, that's 3. Then root 4, that's 2, then minus here. What we have here become square root of 9 minus 8, that's 1. Then over 4, is this equals to 1? And when we look at this, also this is 3 over 2 minus, we can write it as root 1 over root 4 as well. Is it equals to 1? which implies from here we have 3 over 2 minus root 1 is 1 and root 4 is 2 is equals to 1 and also bringing this together here we have SM as 2 so that's 3, 3 minus 1 is equals to 1 and 3 minus 1 there is 2 that's 2 over 2 is equals to 1 and 2 over 2 here is 1 which is equals to 1. So left hand side equals to right hand side. And hence from here, we conclude that x equals to 9 over 4 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos and turn on the notification bell. See you next class and bye for now.